My next interview is with Andy Lopata. I will start quoting Andy. Connecting is not enough. Andy is a business networking strategist, writer, speaker and trainer, and much more. Through his various activities, Andy is there for you for making networking a major tool for developing your business, for supporting you reaching the success you deserve. We are living in a globalized world where huge opportunities are out there just waiting for you. But it is, this is not enough. You have to meet people, know them, in order to make things happen. That's where networking is very, very important. But networking is not something you can do as a Sunday's activity. There are too many mistakes that can be done and stop you. That's where a business networking strategist like Andy is very helpful. Andy, it's time for, you, for me to let you speak, but not before thanking you for your time and inspiring answers. My first question to you uh, will be, what is networking? <laughs> um, that's a good first question. Networking, I almost want to start with what networking isn't, if that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, networking is often perceived as purely around sales. Uh, networking is seen as just about events or social networks, online networks. All of these are elements of networking, apart from maybe sales, but I'm sure we'll talk about that a bit later. But networking is simply collaboration. It's, I, I define networking as the sharing of resources. So it's sharing of expertise, experience, ideas, contacts, whatever that may be, mm -hmm. with other people in our network. On the basis that if we do that, we can all achieve more than we could on our own. So I've got things that I'm very good at, and I don't say that arrogantly because there are a lot of things that I'm not very good at. And there may be areas where you have the experience or the expertise that I lack, and vice versa. And if we make those resources accessible to each other, both of us find it easier to achieve our objectives. And networking is just about building a group of people around you who want to support you and whom you want to support, and being open to share uh, exactly the support each of you needs. How do you came to networking? And I get involved in networking. Yes. Um, funnily enough, through my network. Uh, I, I was in a, um, a job that I didn't enjoy, and I, I quit it about 12 years ago. Uh, I resigned and said, I'm never working for anyone else ever again. And about six months before that, my father had co founded a business network. And, and to tell you the truth, when he started it, it was uh, running business breakfast meetings, so at seven o'clock in the morning. And when he started, he said, do you want to come and see what we do? And I said, it's at 7 o'clock in the morning, isn't it? And he said, yes. I said, good luck. And I wasn't going to get up at that time. And then when I quit my job, I was decided to become a freelance writer. And he said to me, look, we've just set up this network. Why don't you come in and do a bit of cold calling? Uh, help us get it off the ground. And that was really it. You know, I, I didn't look back. You know, for me, it was a part-time thing to earn some cash. Um, and it turned into much more than that, and I became MD of the company. Um, I should have noticed when I said to my father, I'll get a pub job as well to earn a bit more cash while I look for some writing, and he said, don't worry, you won't have time. I'm, I should have really picked up the hint there. Uh, but yeah, I just got into it through there. And I've always networked. I'd always been recommending people and connecting people together, um, but I didn't know there was a term for it. I didn't know there was a label. But that was, uh, as I say, 12 years ago. And uh, it, uh, has it changed through yes. the time? Yes, it's changed tri quite dramatically. Uh, you know, when you went to networking events in, in the UK uh, over a decade ago, um, it was, if you picture the worst type of event you can see now, it was 10 times worse. So everyone was hunting, 
Everyone was looking for a contract. They were almost getting you to sign a contract as soon as they'd shake your hand, thrusting business cards at each other. You still get elements of people thrusting business cards at each other as soon as they meet and exchanging elevator pitches. But I think that over the intervening years, people started to recognise it's about relationships, it's about uh, trust, it's about getting to know people rather than trying to flog. Ha 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 ha!